Hello and welcome to another S4 HANA Fiori training session uh, from Pangea. My name is David Castle and today I will be teaching you how to actually activate Fiori apps on your launchpad. So let's get started. First things first is you want to find out what your SAP version is. So if we go into SAP, log on here. Um, I already have a window open. Let's go to system, then status. And you can actually look in this little magnifying glass menu here, installed product versions, and we can see that we have S4 HANA Foundation 202101. Now this is important because in this uh, SAP Fiori Apps Library, it will actually ask you your version and there's different instructions depending on your version. Um, additionally, it will ask for your component versions to make sure you have the minimum required components. You can just go in here, sort by ascending and go find whatever component it's looking for. So let's get into the portal here. First things first, uh, there's two different sort of sections here. We have SAP Fiori apps for business suite, which is actually a separate product from SAP uh, NetWeaver and SAP GUI. So don't worry about that one. Uh, but for GUI, we can use this one here and that'll show us all our SAP Fiori apps. Let's look for all apps. Okay, so we wanna go find one that we can activate here. So I'm going to scroll down. Let's go to transfer stock cross plant. Let's click that there. And you can see here we have a selector. First things first, you want to make sure that's set to your right version. So we're not going to use HANA Cloud today, but S4 HANA is fine. And go to 2021 FPS 01. Let me just make sure I have that correct, actually. Yes, that's correct. Now, we want to look at our product features maybe. This will tell you what the app does. Pretty self-explanatory. If we go to implementation information, that's where the, actually the fun stuff lives. So these important SAP notes, generally it's just sort of a placeholder. Um, this is how you activate apps note, not this specific app. But if you do see an extra note below one of these two main like front end and back end servers, usually worth checking out and following the instructions there. Otherwise your app might not work. Uh, installation. So this will tell you the software component version that we just showed you here. Um, if you remember, it's this guy here. If you need this UIS for HOP 1700, uh, Service Pack Service or 1, I have that, as well as these uh, prereqs for components as well. Um, and this one here. So there's a few, this whole area, and this one is your components. In configuration, this is where we actually do some stuff. Uh, we'd have to activate our ICF nodes as well as our OData services here. So to start off, um, let's activate our SICF nodes. So to do that, we go into SAP, let's get out of here, and we wanna go to transaction SICF, okay? And we wanna copy paste these technical names into the defined services service name. Okay, let's execute that. And we can see we have two different um, SACAF services here. This BSP one, you wanna make sure that you activate just in case. It's not necessary, but I found some apps don't work without this. So let's activate that, right click activate. And then also the main one here is your UI5 SAP service. And if you wanted to check the pathways to those, it actually just shows here. So so those are activated, those are nice and easy. Uh, OData services, we have to activate those next. So let's go into slash OIWFND main service. So we wanna just check to add this service here. So let's add service. And we wanna look for system alias local because we have to put that in. And then the technical service name, let's press enter. And it looks like it's already registered for that one. So we don't need to worry. Let's try to add this one here. And you'll find some of these have crossover. Okay, so this one doesn't exist yet. So if we select it, we want to press add selected services. And in here, uh, we can actually attach this to a package. I'm not gonna do that because this is just test data but let's put it in a local object for now. Um, 
these defaults are fine. And if you have OAuth, you can enable this. We personally don't, so let's go. Okay, it was created and metadata was loaded. So now if we look for it, we should see it's already registered, good. Let's go to the next one. And you might have, you know, even up to 10 services you might have to activate, especially if your system's new. Let's go add here, do the same thing. We can just run that straight up. Okay. And now the final piece of the puzzle is so we have the SICAF services and the OData services. We actually have to look at what business role contains this app specifically. And all four of these will contain the app. So it doesn't really give you more details in here about what each profile does, but you can just assign this to your user for testing purposes. So let's go do that. Uh, we want to go into SU01, uh, 01 at least. Okay, let's edit my user and then give me that role here. I think I'd give it to myself before the tutorial, so that's perfect. Um, if you need to add a new role, just add it in here, for example. But I already have it, so let's exit out of there. And let's go into S4 HANA here. So here we have transfer stock cross plant and we can click that and it should load correctly and we're all good to go. So please uh, leave any comments down below if you have further questions. I'm happy to help and we'll talk to you again soon.